it's your boy, your boy Combs. We're here, and uh, you know, you know what it is. Here with a Marvel Strike Force video. Yeah, do it, boys. Hope you watched the last one. If you haven't watched the last video that was posted yesterday, or I don't take that back. I don't know when it was posted in reference to this one. The most recent video that posted about Ultima 7. Uh, you need to watch it because it's the best team that you can use right now for Ultima 7. I'm blown away by it. I'm sure that all the other YouTubers are going to start making videos about it. If you are a YouTuber, please give me credit for that team. Anyways, I didn't make it up, but I shared it. So anyways, you guys are going to get mad at me for saying that, and I don't care. So first of all, first things first, in the Halloween poll, please vote for Human Torch and not Loki because you're ridiculous if you vote for Loki, and I'm not going to be your friend anymore. This video today is about the supernatural team i've been checking out this team right and they look dope dude like i don't know like are they gonna be the best team no but like they just look really fun and that's what i really care about with teams anymore like i've kind of like stopped caring about viability because i'm just like well i just want teams that are fun you know like we have teams that can like auto raid stuff well i mean we're we're getting there uh u7 is gonna be a little while but like the uh, like other teams like they can auto raids like I auto like the Greek raids and stuff now so you know I'm just here we go like we're gonna talk about a supernatural team they seem so fun and maybe it's just because I got big red stars on Mordo but let's let's peep at them boys let's peep at them ads unrelated if you didn't notice that Falcon is farmable now you better get your butt on that so uh, we got these guys right so we're gonna talk about them I really wanted to talk about like the best T4s for this team because I want to put T4s on this team now I don't have any because I just spent them all on Invisible Woman. You know, see, I've got 157, I had 800. <laughs> I just put them on uh, Invisible Woman for that U7 team, which I don't regret because I think that that's gonna just fare me better in the long run, at least for now. But my next T4s I think are gonna go on this team as long as I get Ghost Rider and Elsa unlocked. And you know, I just kinda wanna take these dudes to like level 60 or so and um, maybe like tier nine, tier 10. It's kind of like hard because Mordo is so beefy because the red stars and the gear and stuff. So I don't know. I mean, just kind of get them where I can get them to. I mean, they're, they're mystic. And so I used to have a lot of mystic gear saved up and I don't anymore just because I just kind of flippantly toss it on stuff like him and took him to 10. But so my thoughts here are this, right? This team looks like it's going to be really good. And Ghost Rider is just dope anyway, so it's like you want to like level him up because he's dope, right? That's how I feel. That's why I have a constant battle in my heart of if I should level up Psylocke because she seems dope, but she's only okay in game. And so she's still level 20. But Elsa is looking pretty good. I was watching some stuff from like Mobile Gamer. She seems really good and I like it. I like it a lot. And by the way, you might be asking, Combs, why are you wearing a suit? Um, because I wanted to dress up for the video. Is that all right with you? Ridiculous. Just kidding. I just uh, had a job interview, like a web job interview. I'm wearing sweatpants underneath of these, so, you know, it's pretty fun. Yeah, you know what they say. Business on top, party at the bottom. Hey! I'm in a really just, like, I'm, like, a really goofy mood. That's why I was like, man, I need to record this video because I'm making myself laugh over here. Where are we at? T4s. I want to talk about these T4s. You don't need this one. I have this one from a long time ago when I was trying to beat the Thor node. This is actually one of my first T4s. When I was trying to beat the Thor uh, for vision, to farm vision with like the God Thor or whatever. And so I have this one. You definitely don't need that one. This one though, I think is really important because it makes it so on the death of any character, supernatural characters get healed. Otherwise, they only get healed on the death of mystic characters. So I think that's important to notice. I read this ability like four times before I realized that. But so basically only Mordo gets healed on the death of any character, but then when you put this T4 on here, all supernatural characters get healed for 10% on the death of a mystic character. So I don't know how the, exactly that's gonna work because like, is it going to give 25% if it's a like mystic character? Cause it's like, okay, heal on uh, blah, 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 the death of any character, heal for 10%, okay? And then on the death of a mystic, heal self and most injured supernatural ally for 15. But so is it gonna be 10% you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I'm curious about it, but 25% would be nutty. Especially, this would like effectively like smash any teams with summons. So I don't know. And also having big red stars on Mordo. So if it heals 10%, I mean, so it's going to heal 12,000. That's really not that much. Um, but if you have minions, say there's three minions on the field and you just wipe them out with Mordo's AoE, well, then you just healed for 36,000 health. 
to two characters. We don't know. And if it's 25%, oh my, that would be crazy. 25%, I mean, you could heal nearly 70,000 health. And that's a lot. You know, that that's tier 13 Shuri's full health bar, you know? Like, so I don't know exactly how it's going to work. We'll figure it out. Uh, we'll test it when we can. But I don't have those characters unlocked. I didn't, I didn't pay for them. If somebody wants to donate so I can pay for them, then feel free. I'm not saying to do that. I'm not begging for it. But if you want to, you know, give your boy a shout. Because I would love to play with them. But the problem is I don't have any gold and I don't have the gear anyway. So it's kind of like, oh, yeah, let me pay $100 for these characters and I can't even level them up. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a weird system we have right now. I'm ranting, so let's continue. Doctor Strange, it's interesting, right? Because I think that this one is important to have because it doesn't have any like synergies with the supernatural allies unless you get this. But I don't know if you're gonna need it, right? Like with all the healing and stuff, are people really gonna need to be revived? So I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna need it or not because all it does is revive supernatural ally with 65% health. That's all it is. That's pretty because this doesn't matter. Revive ally with 50% health. Well, they're already reviving with 40% health, so it doesn't matter. And then heal allies for 8,000 health. That's pretty much nothing. That pretty much doesn't matter. So I guess it would make it so total 13,000 plus 10%. So it's not horrible. I mean, 10% of his health is, I mean, so it'd be 6,000. So it'd be about 20,000. I mean, it's not terrible, but I don't know. I don't think it's super helpful. But now this is pretty good. This is pretty good, especially again with my big red stars. Mordo 65% health is around like 80 or 90,000 health. That's pretty good. And so that would be a great res. You res him and it like completely can flip the battle background because he just has so much health. So I think that one's pretty good. I don't think it's like vital though. This one, mm, I mean, this one's pretty good because you get deflects. Now it's kind of interesting, right? So 10% chance to change ally speed bar. So that just basically makes it 30% chance to change Los Alice speed bar by 30%. That's whatever. I think that's a super underrated ability. I don't really think anybody notices it because there's no like animation or anything like that. So then if this character has three more supernatural allies when a positive effect is applied to an enemy, heal for 5% of this character's max health. Okay. Well, change it. So now he can gain deflect every time someone gains a positive effect. I don't know how often positive effects are going to go around this team, but I mean, shoot. Even if you just had like three supernatural characters whoever and uh then you just put like other characters that pushed out positive effects it could really help him stay alive now i don't know you know really what that's going to look like what we're going to need with that but that's crazy like that's really good i think that one's pretty important for his survivability because he doesn't have that much health right like he, this dude's three red star seven gold star and yeah he's he's tier 10 he's not tier 13 but tier you know he only has 62,000 health like he's not gonna have that much health unless you have like fat red stars on him now, Scarlet Witch, I think, like, <clears throat> you don't need it on her basic. T4s, you don't need there. But she got, like, a pretty pretty good thing. I think that this one's really good. Defense up to all allies. That's mm, You get deflect and defense up. Now, you might say, well, we're going to get the deflect. Do we really need the guaranteed defense up? I don't know. I think it's a pretty big deal. But it's hard, right? Because then, you like, you look at this and, like, oh, my gosh. This is so good. So, 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 so good. So, you have a 50% chance to apply defense down to all enemies because this hits everybody. This attack is also unavoidable. So, it's going to hit them. But, you know, it gives a 50% defense down, so it's guaranteed defense down, like AoE defense down. That's pretty nutty. That's very nutty. I think you need that one. I think it makes a difference in the team. And then this one's crazy, too. This one's, like, small, but it's, like, on turn 50% chance, or 40% chance, unless you upgrade it, then it takes it to 50 to spread a negative effect from enemy with a negative effect to adjacent target, so it not spread stun. So, for me, like, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm seeing this, and it's, like... This one sounds really, really good, but 10% is really not that much. I think I would do this one last on her. I would definitely do Chaos Wave, and then it's kind of like Warp Reality and Power of whatever, Chuthon. I know that's not how you say it, but Cthun, Cthon, Shathon, Shathun. Um, I'll stop. But, uh, <laughs> so I don't, I don't know, right? So like, I think it's just up to you to decide, but definitely Chaos Wave is the first one to do here. In reference to the other characters' abilities, I have no idea. I really have no idea. But there is definitely a lot of negative side effects that go around on this team. It's pretty cool, pretty fun. So I think uh, the next one that's pretty good, and Ghost Rider is an interesting character, right? So I obviously haven't had the chance to play with him, but my thoughts are after watching videos and just seeing different things, it's interesting, right? So Pennant Stare is like the big deal attack, but apparently it, it misses. And people are saying that they don't really like that. I don't know. I've heard a lot of complaints about it missing. Maybe they just expected it not to. So, I don't know. It does a lot of damage. And I don't know if you... I don't think your first one wants to be Pen and Stare. But if you're going, like, going like hecka deep into this team, like, Pen and Stare will be one that you do eventually. But Spirit of Vengeance is the one that you do want. You know, it, it gives them extra health, which is crazy. Like, they're going to have a lot of health. 
a lot of health so 20 percent extra max health there and um you know you got like the focus and the other things that come with it but like it's kind of crazy like 20 percent max extra health well my motor already has like 130,000 health or whatever and so 20 percent extra to that it's gonna take him up to like 150 160,000 like that's nutty and uh you know again his attack that he goes after uh, someone gets killed like he goes in he, he does a lot of damage there i mean Overall, that's a good ability. I think that's one that definitely makes the list. I don't know where it stands. The 20% max health is a big deal. And so, because I mean, you even see, like I didn't even, I missed this, but you're going to get 10% max health on these last purple abilities. So you already have plus 10, so it's going to be 20, so it's going to be 40. That's going to be almost, I mean, Mortar will be at like 170, 180,000 health. And that's mine specifically, but it's like, whoa. Like that's a lot of health. Like I think the most health in the game right now is like Thanos and like that's just crazy so that's a lot a lot of health and that's the reason why you want to be thinking about that one now i mean hell cycle is i pendant stare is probably the second one i would do if i was going to do another one on him uh, but hell cycle is not bad because it applies the bleed for two turns so with elsa it's pretty interesting right because i don't really feel like any of hers are like super like you have to have these or it's not gonna work i will say uh this one it's uh it's good. I think it's pretty good, but I don't think you have to have it. But the extra damage that you get along with this is pretty good. And just, I mean, the accuracy I think is good too because, you know, you know, you don't want to miss. Obviously, that's like the dumbest statement I've ever made. But, you know, it's pretty good. This one, I mean, I don't know about that one. I mean, you just get extra damage, but it's really not that big damage. And then this one, I mean, you get 60% damage. That's not, not bad at all. And then this one, you don't really need. It's only 10% piercing with the T4s. I think that the, you know, you just want level 6. I don't think level 7 is needed at all. But that's just really a quick overview on her. I think she's awesome. I mean, she's super cool. And, like, I want to use her. I want to play with her. But haven't got to yet. But she seems really, really strong. She just doesn't necessarily need the T4s. And I, I personally like that. Um, it kind of, like, sucks, right? Because sometimes, like, we see characters and we're just, like, you know, you, like, have them all upgrade and stuff. And you're just, like, man, I want to put T4s on this character. Like, Minerva is a prime example of that and it's kind of like okay like she doesn't need any t4s and it's kind of like well why not that kind of sucks but it's like no it doesn't like she's just so good that she doesn't even need t4s and that's kind of how i feel about elsa like maybe later on i'll change that story but it's kind of how i feel about it you know they had to i guess they wanted to make it so like even if you had like strong mordo strong doctor strange strong scarlet witch like you still needed to do some stuff with them so like they're not just like out the gate just like because like nobody's gonna have nobody would have had this ability t4 before i don't remember what it was but i remember it was bad because i thought about it. i wanted to do t4s on him so really overall that's my thoughts on this team i think they're really cool exciting again this reminds me a lot like the way that i kind of feel about them is that's how i felt about when t or excuse me uh when fantastic four came out it's how i felt when super or sinister six came out and i don't know just fun excited and i want to play them you know what i mean so let me know what you guys think if you're playing with these uh ghost rider and elsa and the rest of the team let me know what your thoughts are like i said i've been watching uh omg's videos about them and it just seems pretty cool i mean i can dig it you know what i'm saying like it seems like a lot of fun and i'm i'm ready to play them so soon we'll get there soon so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to smash the subscribe button we're almost to 5,000. thank you all for the support hope that you guys are having a great day weekend night morning afternoon and we'll catch you guys in the next video goodbye all right uh cue the outro boys